Well, today um, I finished uh, most all of the mechanicals on the CNC router. Um, i tell you a little bit about the experiences that I had. Um, um, first thing is, when you set these uh, motors up, and well, I should mention I'm almost done. I'm missing the, the bolts that uh, connect these links and force the uh, gears to mesh up um, uh, in the in the rack but uh, that's no big deal I can get uh, an M8 bolt and finish that up um, I guess what I was gonna say first off um, I had to take these racks off and move them this way I had spaced them about two inches thinking that would be enough but um, it needs to be about an inch from the end uh, on this end um, in order for you to get full travel of the car all the way to the stops. Um, that was kind of a big deal because uh, these uh, bolts, when I had started putting this together, I had started uh, kind of cranking down on them like I did with these ones. And um, what happened was I threaded, I stripped the uh, nuts somewhat um, and I couldn't get them out um, but uh, anyway the, the machine kit comes with a bunch of extra um, nuts and bolts and stuff like that so I think you should be alright if you do that but be careful um, don't over tighten these I would get them snug and then turn them about a quarter to a half a turn past that and no more um, <clears throat> otherwise you will damage the the uh, the threads on this system so they don't need to be excessively tight I mean it just locks this in place it does an alright job um, yeah as I said my my whatever this is called this is a professional spring mounting kit from the CNC router parts website um, it didn't come with that M8 nut um, the other thing is that my kit only came with one uh, precision spacer and really I should have two or at least a lock washer or something in here um, you can see that if you don't do that it does rub um, I don't know how valuable really having a precision bearing in a shaft is on this this does not move really I mean when it's functional it just kinda sits up in here and it only moves, you know, a fraction of a degree when the gears move to keep the, the pinion out. So I don't know how much this is worth it, um, but this is a big improvement over the previous design, um, as long as it comes with the right hardware. Um, you can see up here, I've got that mounted up on the Z-axis, and I'll bring this car over here and show you how it actually is supposed to work. Um, Uh, so over here you can see the nut ties into this uh, swinging piece and the gears mesh and this spring keeps everything tensioned up so that there is no backlash uh, in the system uh, and these belts actually are very tight there shouldn't really be any backlash in in there appreciably anyway that you're really ever going to measure sure there's a lot more error in the system than whatever backlash is there so um, for those of you that are concerned that you might <laughs> you know have uh, slop in the system um, or that your when your motors are off that the system is going to travel uh, don't worry about it this system is rock solid um, these gears the pulleys reduce the uh, gearing and uh, the motors have, um, I don't know, I think they're 300 pulls uh, per rev, something like that. And it's, it's tight. I can just barely move that along by hand um, when, when it's off. Um, uh, Z-axis stuff. Um, this was a little bit of a bear uh, to get on. Um, 
the instructions on the website uh, didn't really work too well for me and I think I it might be because he switched um, these shaft collars or this shaft collar uh, as you can see um, it needs a space right here because it doesn't clear this plate um, so putting the shaft in first uh, only worked for me uh, when I uh, actually attaching this first only worked uh, didn't work didn't work at all um, I had to attach this last in order to get the shaft through everything uh, with the collar on um, so it, it wasn't too bad I mean I kind of figured my way through it but uh, it does take a little bit of doing um, but once it's on uh, it's, it's pretty solid um, again there is just no free motion whatsoever in this thing um, relative to the table um, the one thing though uh, that I did make a mistake and I'm going to have to buy new parts for uh, is with the base um, I think I got too light duty of a uh, uh, machine foot and um, too compliant I mean it's a lot of rubber and you can see when I uh, move the table I don't know if you can see that or not but um, there is a decent amount of motion in there and uh, it te tends to change a little bit of position uh, when the heavy gantry moves over it and compress it. Um, so that's no good. Um, I need to get uh, real machine feet. I was just hoping to avoid paying 4 to $8 a foot when I need 9 of them. So um, anyway, I'll bite the bullet and go ahead and get those because that's going to make the machine a whole lot more solid. Um, I can't expect my table to remain in a planar configuration if there's compliance in my feet uh, here so uh, anyway uh, other than that uh, I think I'm pretty well done once I get those um, nuts uh, or those bolts put in in these pinholes here and tie this together I think this whole thing uh, will be done as far as the mechanicals and then I just need to run cable trays and do the electrical and uh, this thing should be a living breathing beast um, uh, I also need to get my spindle and all that kind of stuff yet but uh, that's coming it's not a big deal and dust collection of course um, that's coming so I'm happy this has been a fun project uh, I'd recommend it to anybody uh, CNC router parts machine is a whole lot more solid and stable uh, than I've ever seen before, um, than I ever even expected, but um, as far as uh, home-built kits go, I think this is top-notch. Um, you'll pay a little bit more money for this kit than you will for the uh, plywood um, kit that you can get from, what is it, buildyourowncnc.com, but this machine is infinitely more solid. I have no qualms about machining aluminum and brass and copper and non-ferrous metals as well as woods. Um, uh, I've heard people talk about that machine, uh, the other machine that I was considering um, from buildyourcnc.com, and um, they use an aluminum angle, iron, and steel V-groove bearings on it, and... Um, since there's a decent amount of weight, a lot of pre a decent amount of pressure, um, they can deform that aluminum uh, angle iron and lose quite a bit of accuracy. Um, these linear guides are steel on steel, uh, equal hardness materials. They really should uh, have very minimal wear, and there is, I mean, really just hardly any. I, I can't hard. I can't measure any compliance in the system at all. Um, everything is touching. It seems to be fully uh, locked except for the uh, uh, linear axis that it's supposed to move on. So um, anyway, I'll have to talk to Aaron at CNC Router Parts. Um, either that or I'll uh, go out and buy an M8 bolt. I think 
I think our Lowe's local home Home Depot or Lowe's should uh, have that size bolt, but maybe not. I don't know. So uh, I know they don't carry a lot of metric stuff there. So um, otherwise, I'll have to order it. So anyway, um, yeah, machine is coming along good. I'm kind of proud. Um, so anyway, uh, till next time. Later.